So I thought I'd take a minute to show how I take an idea in Rome from Rome to a full blog post. Uh, people handle this many different ways, I'm sure, but this is how I do it. So we're looking here at a page for the book, Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. I read a while ago um, in there and I have other videos on how I work through book notes and stuff, but I pulled out all the notes uh, that I thought were good. And as I was reading through, I saw this one. He who has learned to disagree without being disagreeable has discovered the most valuable secret of negotiation. So that's a good idea for blogs. I simply threw hashtag blog ideas at the end. That's all I need to do for now. Periodically then, and really almost daily, I'll go to that blog ideas page and see what I have here. So these are all ideas for blog posts that I need to work out. There's two different kinds of ideas in here. There's some that if you see extra content, there's where I just suck blog ideas somewhere else. Um, as I have time, I'll sort of remove that from there and pull it into a, a more full, full write-up. I'll show you what I mean here. So down at the bottom, we have these two. We have that quote with hashtag blog ideas. And then I, as I thought through, I said, okay, I'm going to call this post disagree without dehumanizing. And so I made a new page for that. Just typed in, made a new page for that. Put the hashtag blog ideas at the top so it would show up. And then pulled in that quote um, via uh, embed here. So uh, our block reference, excuse me. So I just said, okay, what was that one again? It was he who has learned. So I found it there to make sure it pulls in like I already had um, above there. So I can reference it there. And again, also, so later I can reference it back in the original one. If I ever go back through this book and say, huh, what was that one here? Like, oh yeah, I wrote a blog post about that. So in this case now I can get rid of this blog ideas hashtag. I've built a new one and I've referenced that post over there. So I can go back into blog ideas and that original one of his is gone. So now I have disagree without dehumanizing. So I kind of have my notes in here. Chris Voss, Chris Voss put it lightly in here, pulled in that post. Had another idea, which is what spun this together from a podcast from Jamie Ivey. So I pulled in the link to her podcast and some notes there, some other thoughts on mine. And then I kind of wrote a post from there. That gave me enough bullet posts, bullet points to put together a post. So I published a post called Disagree Without Dehuman Disagree Without Dehumanizing, um, mentioning the book and linking over to it, pulling in his quote, talking about Jamie Ivey's podcast and the link to that, and then some examples of what's going on and how that matters, how I think that matters to people. And so when I'm done, this blog ideas, it's still hanging out on blog ideas. So I can do two things. I can put drafted on it when I've drafted the post and it won't show up in here anymore. Cause I keep a filter on this that says blog ideas that are not content to work on published or drafted. So this is the only ones I need to actually work on. So I drafted it in WordPress. It's ready to go. I don't need to see it here. Uh, of course now I'm kind of hidden it. So um, really what we'll do because I've already published it though, I'll mark it instead of drafted as published. So it's still sitting in here but it's out of my way. When I go to my blog ideas, these are only the ones I need to work on. So these, for the most part, um, I've already started a little bit, you know, have some notes in here on a better use of te text expanders. I need to build out more there. These other ones I've simply tagged hashtag blog ideas. Like, okay, 15 minutes is around 1% of a day. That's could be a cool idea for a blog post. I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but at some point I will make a, a new post called, you know, 15 minutes is only 1% and pull in that reference and, you know, can do some more things with it. But for now, this keeps them all in front of me and seems to work pretty well. So I hope that's helpful. If you have other thoughts, leave a comment and let me know. Thanks.